Yes, it's a big haul. It is. It's a giant one. Welcome back to my channel. This is Crafty Jackie. And I have got a ton of stuff to show you. So get yourself a cup of coffee or a cold drink. And, and mine's over there. I forgot to get it. And you uh, sit still and relax because you're going to really be watching a lot of stuff. So I went to the Goodwill, uh, I believe it was Thursday, and they, because uh, I had gotten an email that was 40% off if you had your membership card, if you were a member. And I was and am, so I went to, I was going to go to two of them, but I got so much at the first one, I just told Ron, forget it, I don't even need to go to the other one. So anyway, let me show you what I got, and uh, I hope you're all doing good today, and uh, staying warm. If it's cold where you're at, it's only going to be like 40 here today, so it's a little on the nip-nip side. And uh, so, let's get started, okay? Uh, and when I say that, then I'm always going, oh, where do I start? All right, I'm going to start on my left and work to the right. Don't know why I do it that way, but I, I am. The first thing I have is this K's Creation um, sleigh. And it, it's in perfect shape. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a uh, planter, but I mean, you know, putting in a bottle brush tree or whatnot would be cute. That's not a bottle brush tree, but you know what I mean. I also got this green ornament. I believe it was with a bunch of ornaments. So we'll put it right there. Okay. I'll show you this one I got. It's laying on the floor here. Alrighty. Um, I got this old picnic basket. And I already have one that's bigger, actually. And so I'm going to stack this one on top of it. And I'm going to store things in it. Because uh, Lord knows I've a lot, ran out of places to store stuff. I'm thinking of telling Ron maybe we need to buy us a motorhome. And just keep filling the house up and, you know, I'll do my work and everything. And, and when we want to leave, we'll just go in the motorhome. Then I won't have to worry about having too much stuff in here. Do you think he's going to buy it? Nah, I don't think so either. But it's always a good thought. Alrighty. So, the next thing I have to show... I really don't have where to lay this stuff. It's ridiculous. I'll lay it right here for the time being. Is this, um, it is made by Sigma, the taste seller. And I think it is, uh, maybe like 1983. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to have to look it up for sure. Um, it's made in, I think it says Japan. And I can't find my little thingy. Oh, here it is. Right here. Right here. Yes, it's made in Japan. And there's holes here to hang it up. It, it looks like this. All the way around. I don't see anything wrong with it. I thought this was awesome. I really did. I love this thing. Okay, so next I have a stack of one, two, three, four, five, seven of these uh, dessert plates. And I think this is a beautiful pattern. Uh, I have uh, on eBay right now a big platter of this pattern. It's called um, Cameo Wear by Harker Pottery. Made in the U.S. of A. It says saucer or bread and butter plate, but it doesn't have indentations. So I would say it's a bread and butter plate or a little dessert plate. And uh, I got seven of those, which are, to me, pretty cool. And uh, let me put this back. Um, I found this peach colored, um, which screams 80s to me swan that you would put your that you put your towels in 
I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's dirty. I need to wash it, but it has a sticker on the bottom. I'm not sure what it said, but it's in good shape. Nothing wrong with it. That a good little bit of soap and water wouldn't cure. Okay. And then I found this awesome toucan pitcher. Now, there are some places where the black is off, but I'm going to put black nail polish on them. Um, I've done that on my own stuff, and it works really well. So you won't even, you know, know that it had chipped off. And I do not know who made it because it doesn't have anything on the bottom. But I just thought that was pretty darn cool. I love figural uh, pictures, and this one is just really, really cute. Okay. Um, I'm not going to even pick all these up, but I got uh, one, two, five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Five of these, um, what are they called? Oh, Franciscan wear. Gosh, I can't think. Um, hand decorated. Uh, these are soup bowls. And I didn't find anything wrong with any of them. Um, I just think they're so pretty. I love this pattern. I love it. So I got five of those. I got this little brass angel. But it's it's actually a... Um, I want to put a different candle in it, but it's a, a candle holder. I need to get that wax out, but yeah, it's for little votive candles. And I thought that was really cute. And I found something else that I've never seen before. I have seen Kissing Angels before. But I have never seen Kissing Angel salt and pepper shakers. Never have seen that. And these are um, made by somebody. I can't remember. I can't see who it's made by. I forgot, but I'll tell you when I have the sale. But there's nothing wrong with them, and I just think they're a darling. You know, they're like a, they look kind of like Lennox wear, because that, that cream color with the gold on it. Yeah, that's what they look like. Do you like looking up my nostrils? I'm sorry. It is a bummer. Ah. Uh. And I found this, I believe it's a tang jar. Um, I have to do a little more research. It's Anchor Hawking. And it says 1776. And then it's got an eagle on it. And uh, I thought that was really neat. I know it held something tang or something like that. I think it was tang. Um, but yeah, it's a good storage jar. You know. And it's vintage. And yeah. Very neat. Okay. And then I found this really pretty um, little creamer pitcher. It's, um, I believe, false craft. And... Uh, you know, if you if you have a lot of white iron stone and stuff, this is really neat. For Christmas, this would look fabulous with a spray of uh, poinsettias or holly in it. It would look really, really cool. Okay. Um, I found this lace table topper. It says it can fit round or square tables, and it is 30 inches in diameter. And it, it came from Walmart originally, but um, it's new, never been used. And, uh, yeah, I thought that was so pretty. Looks real nice on that table. Looks very, you know, old-fashioned, vintage, whatever you want to say. Victorian. Okay, I got a bunch of glasses. I'm going to show you one of each set. I got four of these, and they're in... Fabulous shape. There's all the golds on them. They're not wore off or anything. And they're nice and heavy. 
Um, I know they're vintage. I don't know what year they are, but I will try to find some information on them. And then I got four of these. I think these are so cool. It looks like somebody just took uh, paint and just squirted it all over. And you can feel it on them. These are like a Tom Collins glass. So if you have a bar or, or whatever, this would be a really cool glass to have in it. And I am fairly certain these are vintage as well. Okay. All right, let me get some of this small stuff here. I got a couple of bags of stuff I paid. I don't know, $1.49 for this one. It has two packages of uh, invitations for a shower in it. It's got a little, um, it's got some sticky notes, Easter sticky notes. It's got two spools of purple ribbon, so this is really kind of Easter stuff. And another Easter uh, sticky note. And then it, the thing I was really wanting for it for was this roll of tool. So the other stuff I'll probably just sell at Easter time. Put it, you know, in a for my blue light specials or whatever. Okay. And then I got this one bag of ornaments. And they were. I don't know. Oh, another dollar for name. And this one is glass. This is a Christmas tree. And. They're all new, oh, except for this one has a hook. This one's plastic, but it it looks like glass because it's got that on it. Um, it has this big bell. And it has this ornament, which is new, a grateful heart sees many blessings and it's uh, porcelain and this one I thought was a cool one it is uh, Cypress Home it says made in India it just says made in India silver jingle bell star so it's got a little ribbon to hang it with and it's this. It doesn't jingle a lot, but but it looks neat to have all the little bells on it, I think. I think it's really cool. So I've got that. Try to get all this stuff back in here. And I'm eyeballing trying to find a place to put it. Would be nice to have a place to put it. I bought so much stuff. This is, I I couldn't believe it how much stuff I was buying. Neither could Ron. <laughs> when I came out, he said the cart was full, and he goes, "Oh my gosh!" All right, then I got this darling little figurine. It's of I don't see who it's made by. I hadn't taken the sticker off yet, but let me see. Oh, there is something underneath. Yeah, I hate when they do that, because then you never know. It is Inesco. I'll tell a story. Treasured memories. I'll tell a story. 1982 Inesco. You can see, oh, I have to get the rest of that up. That's the Nesco sticker. And it's this little girl, and she's, like, talking to her teddy bears, telling them she's going to tell a story, and she's got the book of the three bears in her hand. I mean, I just thought that was the cutest thing I've ever seen. I just, ugh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I mean, I was shocked how many cute things I could find, you know. 
Sometimes you just find stuff that's not really that cute. Alrighty. I then found this um, figurine. It is um, from Roman company. It, it's from Italy. It's uh, Fontanini. And it's a figurine that you can add to your nativity set. And it's so, it's very cool. Oh, I also... And now, um, uh, 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 in with those ornaments was this. Look at this uh, Wonder Woman ornament. <laughs> I thought that was funny as heck. Yes, I did. My daughter always wanted to be Wonder Woman. Okay, let me see. Let me show you what's underneath here. And then there were two of these, uh, but I only bought one for myself. It's a hobnail um, white milk glass dish. And I only bought one because... Um, oh, and is, is that a chip in it? Yeah, it does have like a little tiny chip. Uh, because nobody ever wants to buy this stuff. So I just bought one for myself. It just doesn't seem to sell very well. Doesn't say Fenton on the bottom. I'm not sure if it is, is Fenton or not. Um, I got this old doorstop. Because we always need them in our house. And uh, this is a really nice one, so... All our doors like will not stay open, which is lovely. Alrighty, let me see here. I got a few Hallmark ornaments. I got this Snoopy one. And it says Snoopy 2004. So that was when he was running in 2004. I wish he would have won. And then there's this one. It is, it says grandma on it and it's a little angel. I thought that one was sweet. That one's very sweet. I, there's one that I don't, oh, I see. Okay. And then this one says snow girl and it is a, a snowman, a snow girl snowman. And that's really cute too. And they're all, you know, in here and they're, Wrapped up, I don't think they ever were used. It doesn't appear that they were used. Oh, I suppose I should look because they might not even be right, the right ones in there. But it is. Look at the little girl. Got her little bottle bush tree. She's cute. Got little buttons on her outfit. So that's that's that. I got some very cool things that this this here store did not were not aware of. Oh, it was fine. Not aware of that they were worth something actually. Um, I got this green Christmas tree. It's a a candle. It's got a wick at the top, and uh, I thought it was really cool. I thought somebody might like that. I know a lot of people like candles, so I thought that might be a good one. And it scented, um, what the heck did it say it was scented with? Uh, I saw it scented with something. No, maybe not. Maybe that was the, some other candle I bought. I don't know, but I think it's cool. It's heavy, too. Okay. I got this cute little Dalmatian. Look at his eyes. I thought he was so sweet. I'm partial to Dalmatians because Bandit looks like a mini Dal Dalmatian. Okay. Sit down. Sit. There you go. And then I bought two of these really pretty nice and heavy good handle uh christmas mugs and they are made by longa burger and i thought these were very cool very very cool all righty and next i got these christmas cards star wars christmas cards and they're made by Hallmark, and it says 
we are fluent in six million forms of holiday greetings. And then inside it says, our programming suggests Merry Christmas to appropriate, appropriate, is appropriate for this occasion. So if there's anybody out there that's a Star Wars fan, these are cool cards. Cool cards. All right. Um, I got this um, left in China Christmas tree, but I it's instead of the green, it, it's white with green decorations, and I thought that was real pretty because everybody doesn't like green. Some people, you know, like something more neutral, and I thought that would be good. Okay. Um, I found this. And it's not the berry one. This one was by Paula. These were also real popular. This is 1970. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. Nothing wrong with it either. It's in good shape. Okay. Let me see here. I bought this Christmas mug, which is the Winterberry, False Graph Winterberry pattern. And... Um, it's in great shape. Nothing wrong with it either. And uh, it's a really nice big mug as well. Not as heavy as the other ones, but it's it's a nice mug. Okay. Um, I bought... There was four of these little um, sauce dishes in the Cameo Wear. And again, there's nothing wrong with them. No chips or anything. Um, those are good. Okay, I got two packs of this Holiday Living, the original mantle clip. And they've got like a grippy thing and you, you put them up on a shelf or whatever and you hang your stockings on it. Or you could use it to hang lights or garland or something in it and hang ornaments off of it. So I got two of them. All right, I'm going to put them on the floor. Um, I got this. It's made in Japan. It's a candle holder. It uses those fatter uh, tapers, but it would hold a, you could put a uh, votive light in it, I do believe. Where's that other thing? I can see if it will fit. I'm almost positive it'll fit. Yep. So you can put a votive light in there and burn it that way. And it's made in Japan by um, Wicks and Sticks. So yeah, I thought that was a neat, you know, neat and especially if you're into the, you know, Ivy and stuff like that. I thought it was really pretty. There's nothing wrong with it. No chips or anything. Put that girl back there. Okay. Alrighty. Here's one of the exciting ones. If I don't break it. They had a Fenton Blue Fenton Fairy Light there. I couldn't believe it. In fact, I didn't peel off the bottom. I know it's Fenton because my mom sold Fenton in her store. She had an antique and gift shop. It might not even be marked Fenton. Nope, it's not marked. But I know it's Fenton. Oops. So... This will definitely be up for sale. Um, I feel one little teeny tiny flea bite here and one here. But I mean, you can't really notice them. They're just minuscule. And so, yes, that will be for sale. And um, here's some more ornaments. I have this Hallmark one, and it says... Little Boy Blue, and it's like a little um, book with a little thing inside of it. So that's probably really cute. And I have this 
Linus ornament. Okay. And I found a box of Joy Bright glass ball ornaments still in the package. Yeah. And then I got this, which I think looks pretty old. Not it could be, but it's got little ornaments on it. And it's got a little bottle brush tree. But whatever, it looks cool. It's really cool looking. I've got so much stuff, I feel like I'm just chanting. Um, I found this little... Uh, it must... Uh, oh, this... This was from... Uh, my church resale shop. Somehow it was on the floor and I missed it. And um, it is little tiny uh, ornaments. Um, cookie cutters. So you could use them, tie a ribbon on them and put them on your tree. You could make tiny cookies out of it, whatever. But I would say this is pretty old. I I don't know. It looks like it is, but it's cool, whatever it is. Um, I found a red-handled pastry blender in really good shape. There's no paint off of that one. Um, I found this. Oh, come on. Because I'm also I also bought a few things that you might want to use as gifts. I found this very pretty velvet uh, Christmas purse. It's got a little, you know, thing like this. Put on your shoulder. And it's snap closure. And it's very clean inside. Um, and I can't tell who it's made by. There's a little ribbon in there. That's who it's made by. But I thought that was very cute. And it was in such a nice shape. You know, somebody might want to give that to somebody for Christmas. Or use it for Christmas. Like a magnet closure. Um, I got this hammered aluminum creamer. I thought it was real cute. Could put it in your kitchen for decor. And I got a set of uh, little cheese spreader, or you know, for cheese balls and stuff. And they're little mittens. I thought they were very cute. Ah. Uh, this, I bought one of these last year, just a snowman. It's a little bit different scene, quite a bit different scene. But I forget who makes this. I will look it up. By the sale, I will have looked it up. And uh, it sees a snowman. There's a, a duck, a bunny, and a chicken. <laughs> and they are roasting marshmallows on the fire. There's little marshmallows. It's so precious. I just love the looks of the little uh, snowman. It's made. It's made out of porcelain, but it, it it's like satin. Okay. And then this is one of the three I found. Treasure craft. Yeah. This one is. Maui, Hawaii, 1983. That's an ashtray. And then I found this one, which is like, just like a little trinket dish. Has the sticker in it. And it says, Hawaii, oh wait, Treasure Craft of Hawaii, 1962, number 40. So I found those two, which I don't want to break. Mm. That sticker's all over me. Oh gosh. I don't know where to put them. I would say that's safe, but I don't know. We shall see. And um, I found these salt and pepper shakers. Uh, it's a cut apple and a regular apple. They're Corks are in them. 
I thought they were cute. Um, there was this picture frame and uh, it's made in Taiwan. So it is got some age on it. And it's Santa and then this is Santa and me. And it's a picture frame to put in. You know, when you if you have a child and they, they go see Santa. Now I don't know if there'll be Santa's this year. I've heard no. But you might have one from the past that you can put in there. Okay. Um, I found a piece of restaurant ware and it's this like a little bowl. I, I don't know, they use them for all kinds of stuff in the restaurant. The oddball thing was where it was from. And it says Kraus. China and China and supplies, China and supply, Hammond, Indiana. And then it says Jackson something. Jackson, China. So it it's made in Hammond, Indiana, which is, and I've seen a lot of this in restaurants around here. Hammond is where I was born. It's the town I was born in. So I, I was very excited when I saw that. I want now I know why there's always so much of this in our area. And then I found this really cool, it's like wood in the back, and it's a wood frame, but it's a tile of a courier knives print. I I thought that was extremely pretty. You can tell it's old from the back. It says, what does it say? Tell you guys it's kept getting old when you're trying to see anything. Franklin. Franklin picture 1399. All right. So that's that. Now, 32 minutes already. Um, I found this Anchor Hawking uh, glass measuring cup. Um, this planter, which is that... Um, tripware and it's kind of like the rainbow one that I had last week of the picture and it's in beautiful shape no chips or anything no cracks so yeah I thought I love the shape of this one I think it's very I don't know cool okay um I got this bowl here and it says um, Churchill, England. I liked it. I got three plates that you could decorate with or you could put cookies on. One of them is Country Living. And it's this pattern. I think this one's Precious, because I love the plaid. Oh, that's pretty cute, too. And then there is this one, which is Hallmark. And it's like a satin finish. And it says Mary, and it's got the snowman here. It's got a rough, some roughness here. Um, I think it's from the manufacturing, truthfully. But there's no cracks or anything in it. I think it's dirty, too. But I think it would make a great cookie plate, or like I said, you hang it up. And then the last one I got is this one, and it is English Bone China, Christmas Eve, Salem, England. I think this one's gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Doesn't have a date on it or anything, so those are always nice. Let's show that. 
Get over there, Mama. Get over there, Mama. And the last thing, well, no, one more thing on the table is this. Um, and it's for the computer, you know, to make like invitations or whatnot. Uh, I'm going to use it in my uh, um, packages. Um, I got this adorable kitty cat, uh, you know, thing to hold your Christmas stocking. I've never seen one like it. I think it's really cool. If you love cats, you will love that. Alrighty. Now, let me start with the bags that are still left down here. Okay. I ran out of table space, so I thought I'll just have to do them this way. All right. Um, I got this keepsake ornament, ornament that is Santa Claus. And I thought that one was really neat. Um, this I found, and it's really vintage. It's the Royal Chapel Scented Holiday Candle. Uh, doesn't say what year or anything, but I know it's old. Yeah, so this is all flocked. Now, I think it actually goes like this. I think it's an upside down. But, yeah, it's really cool. I would take it out if I could. I just want I don't want to destroy the box. But, yeah, there it is. There it is, and all is fuzzy glory. Okay, I got a tin of um, coasters. They're just floral. I want to see how many there are. Tin is really pretty. And then the coasters, there's one, four of them. They do have cork backs, and then they look like that. They're all the same. Those are nice for the holidays, so people aren't putting their drinks on your table. At least it might deter it a little bit. I bought this shirt. Uh, even though it's short-sleeved, I bought it because I really liked it. I love polka dots, and I love the color, so. Got that. Okay. And then I got this. This is one of the things I bought. You might want to use it for a gift. Because, like I said, I, I'm trying to buy a bunch of things that you might want to buy as a gift for somebody. And this one is very pretty. It looks Victorian. I'm going to pull this off. It is a, a picture album. In the front is a very ornate frame, and you can put an actual frame in the front as well. And, oh, oh well, I'll worry about the rest later. And it looks like this. Well, somewhat. I'm not going to take that off. But see, it's got the real ornate frame. And then inside, it has the pages to put your pictures. And uh, I think that'd be a very nice gift for somebody. I don't know. It says the frame is pewter, so that's kind of nice. You may hear Ron snoring in the background. I'm not sure. Oh, this I bought. I said this would be a great gift. 
It's all leather and it says teal color. It says genuine leather here. And uh, it's beautiful. I mean, it's obvious it never was used. I don't, there's no brand name on it that I can see. But I mean, it's just gorgeous. is on the inside. Has a little zipper thing on the outside. It has a, a little uh, thing for your ID so you don't have to open up your wallet. You can just pull this out of the side pocket. So yeah, I thought that was a very nice gift. And the leather is real soft. Really soft. Let's get that it. That was it. Oh. Okay. This one's heavy. This one's heavy. Not sure how they wrap this up, so. I'll tell you what, though, these two girls. Or wrapping maniacs. They were quite helpful. Okay. Uh, this was my other piece of treasure craft. It was a lot bigger. And what does it say on the bottom of this one? Yeah, they put everything, the tag right on it. So you never know what the, you know what anything is. I guess they don't care. Uh, this one says Treasure Craft of Hawaii, Maui, Hawaii, and there's no date on this one. Just two exclamation marks. That's it. But anyways, like that and like that. Very nice piece. Okay. I didn't realize treasure craft, treasure, treasure craft was made in, in Maui or Hawaii. Had no idea. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. But it's big. And it's obviously black. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at this Pyrex. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yep, I bought that. And it's in good shape, too, so that, that made me happy. I'm keeping that. Okay. Oh. All right, guys, this is a big one. It's a big one. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay, let me see if I can find a place to lay these. Goodness. I bought this ginormous platter. And you can see it's got uh it's got a fall or winter. It is something important, but I can't think of what. Um Fuji China Autumn. Made in Japan. It's got Japan on it. Let's look at the bottom of it. Yeah. This thing is heavy. Heavy. Okay. And I'm going to swap that out for these things. Try not to chip this. 
Uh, the last platter I had that I was going to keep, it actually got broke. So I had to go to it. I've got four of these um, Corel plates that look like this. It's the, I don't know what pattern. But I liked them because they have a, uh, they're indented like that. And so we like Corel plates and so I bought four of those for us. Okay. The last bag, I think. I think it's the last one. Gosh, I'll need to have a nap after this. It is the last bag, guys. Now, when I have the sale, actually, guys, I want to explain something. Uh, I'm going to have my Friday night sale, and then Saturday, me D, me, D from Throw the Thrift and Vintage Vinny are going to have a three-person sale. Um, I want to say it's at 2 o'clock. Vinny is hosting... So you'll have to look on his channel to find us. But uh, those of you that watch D on Saturday, you know, you'll have to watch on Vinny. And uh, since I'm not on Saturday, you know, I'll but I'll be on Vinny's channel. And so you guys can get me twice this week. Isn't that great? <laughs> and look at this plate. Look at this. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, I love it. I love pink and black and pink and gray. Just love it. I love pink. It's my favorite color. Have it upside down as usual. It says Royal Grafton Bone China England. I just think this is, oh my gosh, all that in a bag of chips. Oh, it's probably a dinner plate. I'm guessing. I don't know. It's kind of dinner plate me and round step. Little. Tiny. All right. I'll put this with these plates. Oh. And let's see what else we got here. Oh. I bought these. I bought three of them. I bought the three that I thought was the prettiest. Somebody had given up a whole bunch of Kentucky Derby glasses. And this was Kentucky Derby 1920 or 20, 121. And the year was, oh dear, uh, 1995. And it looks like that. I just got the ones I thought were cool or pretty. I bought not one but two of these Avon bottles. Um, this one had it just says Emerald Bud Vase. That one doesn't have the sticker on anymore. What does it say? This was in this one. I think it was cologne in these. Yeah, un oh, un un unforgettable. I love to unforgettable. But they're these uh, green stopper bottles and you know they're like a bud vase you could use them as a bud vase i think these are gorgeous christmas time st patrick's day time yeah can't beat that i think the last two things are these Kentucky Derby glasses. This was, I thought this one was pretty. This one is uh, the 1927th, 127th Kentucky Derby. I thought that was gorgeous. And most of them were kind of blah, but I thought this one was real pretty. 
and this is uh -huh. well 2001 and this one is like that and it is 1982 so yeah that is what I got well guys I hope you saw something in this haul that interests you and that you would might want to buy um, I look forward to having the sale and showing you all, you know all kinds of things that you can buy and think out of the box for Christmas presents it's going to be hard to shop this year because of COVID. And so we need to, I mean, I myself have bought everything so far off of sales. Um, there's a couple of things I'm going to buy, like from Walmart, but order it and have it delivered. Um, it's not worth going in the stores with a big crowd. There are places closing up here already. Um, we have Culver's here and it's closed. Um, I have a feeling that that's going to happen. It's one of the reasons why I've been trying to buy as much as I can so that I can keep having sales and, you know, we can have fun. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of stuff. And <laughs> I'm, not used to, I'm not used to showing this much stuff at a time. But I will see you in my next video. I'll see you Friday at my sale. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to wear your mask and don't forget to wash your hands. I need to wash mine now again. And just please be safe. Love you very much.